welcome back. Random TV reviews, your girl and that. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, coming in this week with Green Leaf, um, the underdog. Before we get started, mm. we'd like to thank everyone. I swear, this week y'all have shown us so much love and concern. Yeah. In lieu of this hurricane that's possibly coming our way, but not really. It's a meme that's on Facebook that said that um. That hurricane flow was like slide to the north, uh -huh. slide to the south, <laughs> crisscross. Everybody, crap your pants. That's how we feel right now. But major shout out to um, um, life, my twisted life of poetry. She do hit me up every day. Was like, look, what's the update? What's going on with y'all <laughs> down there in VA? Um, beautiful soul, Kenneth Smith, and then it was some more about subscribers. Um, Just Much Blaze, appreciate. Alan went um, Welch. So, yes, thank appreciate you all. It. We appreciate it. It yeah, does not go good. unnoticed. We all good right now. Yeah, but what they say. Yeah, know. that's what they say. But I think everything's supposed to, whatever was supposed to happen is supposed to start tomorrow. So Yeah, and it kind of did take a dip. So that little part that was going to catch us at first yeah, is she, now going to be more like the wind and the rain, and which doesn't really leave us in a better position, but at least we won't be in the direct eye of everything. Yeah. So thank you again. Yeah. Let's get on with this guy doing review. This is, more, oh, let me get do the YouTube thing. You yeah. know, we got to do that. We forgot we, we public figures now. Yeah, you got to do it right. Y'all know we don't take that serious, right? Um, <laughs> so if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That means that you join the Church of Calvary, okay? Mm. Um, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, thumbs down. It doesn't even matter. You've already been counted. But what yep. that does, that let us know whether or not you tithe this week, okay? So thumbs up if you drop your tithe in the basket. Thumbs down. Don't do that. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> you have a lot of thumbs down. <laughs> no, I had to think about that thing. Those thumbs about skit down. <laughs> so we see that first lady makes her way on over there. She went to Atlanta to go see Miss Maxine Waters. Yeah. So as soon as she showed up, I immediately picked up on the fact that this woman never wanted her to marry Bishop Lester mm -hmm. Waters. Yep. And I said, okay. Then she spoke it out of her mouth. She said, you know what? You were right. You were so right. You told me not to marry him, but what I want to do now is I want to go back to the school, to school, get my degree, and I want to open up my own church. She, she said, was like, for what? You got one. Yeah, you can. She said, I'll be watching. <laughs> I was like, where? <laughs> she said, now what she said made a whole lot of normal logical sense yeah but I, certainly yeah. because i yeah not even gonna touch it um she said listen what pastors usually buck up they still get to live high off the hog and the first lady has to go around scrounging for pieces of bread you know mm -hmm. the crumbs that fall on the floor i don't even think that that's fair why don't you take over what's already established and let them fend for their God doing self. And I said, I was like, yeah, that sounds really, it do really sound good. good. <laughs> but how in the heck is she going to do that? And I said, she's going to have to sow some kind of discord between her and Bishop and separate them and make them choose sides. That's the only way it's going to work. And it's going to have to be in the means because everybody hates a cheater now. But both of them are cheaters. So she can't pay that card. But he got the most recent kind of infidelity, but not really. It just has the appearance of evil, but he had an emotional affair. Yeah, that's what he had. Yeah, he just need a little bit of comfort for 24 hours. Yeah. So I said, okay, what we're not going <clears> to <throat> do is this. So we see her coming back home, and Corinne is over at the house. And I said, oh, Corinne leaves from behind the desk? You don't say. I said, okay. I know the First Lady did not set up this big event to tell the family her future plans <laughs> on leaving this man and taking over the church. I said, I know she ain't going to do it like this. <laughs> when no come to find out it was the round table. Y'all mm -hmm. know the round tables where the big donors are actually brought into the home once a year. They, they fatten them up, yeah. juice them up, pat mm -hmm. them on the back, tell them how much they Thank appreciate you. their, their donations. And keep, keep the money. And keep the money. Keep flowing. the money flowing. Well, there was a guest list and it seems like Bishop had, a plan on the side to sweeten up the pot so that he could get back at First Lady's good graces. So there you go. we have Bishop and I mean um Jacob and his family coming over. Huh? Why are they coming over? Yeah. Huh? Then we got one of um their old friends. What was his name? Um was it Percy? 
Purse is somebody. Something person, yeah. He look like a person. He do like a person. <laughs> um, and he's, I think he runs the, the local funeral home, but he was the guy that actually introduced May and James together back in the day day. So I said, okay. May picked up on this immediately. It was like, what is he doing here? Oh, he said he was yeah, free, so yeah, I told him to come through. Now, homeboy came through. He was like, I thought we was having a party. I didn't know you had went all gala style on me. Yeah. I'm, Where's the beer? Yeah, I'm ready to get towed up. <laughs> he said, the bar right there. I said, Bishop, you, you got a bar? Bar? Yeah. At, at the house? Like Kevin Hart said, don't, don't drink gasoline. We got a whole bar. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, so this is how we doing it over at the Bishop house. All right. Mm -hmm. First lady said, let's, let's make this clear. I see what you're doing and we still done. Ah, uh, yeah. I said... Why you gotta be so mean, man? Why you gotta be so mean to what? She, he just got, she got friends talking to Apostle to pay the bell. She don't <laughs> give you two. Been <laughs> it's like heaven. <laughs> she don't give him two rats about what, what he got to say right now. And her mind is, she see herself taking over that church. And she said, I gotta keep my eye on the pride. Yeah. Okay, so at this gala, a whole lot of skit was going on. Gigi brought Darius. So, of course, everybody's trying to figure out who he is and where he been because he ain't been to church. So, they have this blanket lie that he goes out and he reports on different churches. Yeah, he's a so religious that, journalist. Yeah, so that way he on, he, he has an excuse for not being at church on Sunday. But you know what? Church folk need to stop doing that right now. Make you lie. Yeah. And I then, just don't want to come. Yeah. I just, yeah. You, 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 you roll up on somebody and be like, why you ain't been to church? Uh... uh just leave them alone. Just be glad that they're there this Sunday. Well, he they there. grace you. I mean, if when they when you do come, because they do that when you come to church. Where you been at? You ain't been here for a long time. Leave me alone. I'm here. <laughs> leave me alone. Leave me alone. Just be glad I'm here. Then next Sunday, you don't see and wonder why. I don't know why Brother Watermelon didn't come back to church this Sunday. Because you kept asking too many questions. I just wanted to slide in. Yeah. And slide on. All up in our personal business. If he told you he was he was out there bucking some chicks, that's why he ain't been to church. He will mess you right up. Clean up. So we got Deaconess. Deaconess was like, oh, no, no, no. The Mega Millions um went him. She was all up in his face, just skinning and a grinning. Mm -hmm. At some point, First Lady knew that Coochie Cross had never RSVP for this event. So she was cool with that. All right. But Coochie Cross decided to show up. What you know she was going to show up. And I knew she was going to show up. I knew she was going to show up. But before she showed up, Bishop had got up, gave this great announcement and this great little speech about being together. It's better to be together and warm than to yeah, get separate. Yeah, that, that I mean, he just went down the road and talk about some well. They he they've been together for forty. What is it? Was it forty one 40 years? Something, yeah, it's forty something years. And I hope to be with you another forty one more years. When I when I met you, I thought I was gonna be this traveling single pastor that was just gonna be doing my own thing. And, and then I met you. You had the same zeal, and you were saved like I was saved, <laughs> and together we built this empire, and I ain't gonna let it go. That's basically what Bishop said. I ain't but gonna it let looked it go. like for a second there, she was, she was reached. He, until, he reached them. Until the, until the Coochie Cross showed up, and all that went right out the window. <laughs> Coochie Cross showed up, and she went from crying, and he cried, and they oh, them tears, them tears just disappeared, boy. <laughs> And that song started playing in my head, when a woman's fed up. <laughs> I said, okay. She told... Um, and she showed up shady. She talking about something. Huh. Clapping all off everybody else like this. She... To make sure she can be seen. First lady said, you need, to, you need to get rid of her. You need to take care of that. So, Bishop was on his way to go take care of that. But in the meantime, Coochie Cross had got linked up with Darius while they all having their little mingling and all of that. And she asked Gigi, oh, who is this? And you know, she's getting all in the business of, you know, who's who's and what's what. And I noticed that her and Darius kept making eye contact back and forth to each other. Yeah, said, like they the working together. The motherfuckers working together. It, huh. it is solidified in my mind that they are working together. So that probably when she came back, when he came back and told Gigi, about the information, you know, he didn't throw out no names. 
He couldn't afford to throw out no names, because if he did, it would put two and two together. Be like, how you, how you know? How you know about this IRS stuff? Yeah. So Bishop finally got Cooch across off to the side and told her, say, you know what? I think it's best that you not be here. So she put 20 on 10. She was like, hold on. Why wouldn't I be here? I am a part of the Bishop's round table. I give good donations. And don't think for a second that you can just keep pushing me in, pulling me in, pushing me out, pulling me in whenever you feel <clears> like <throat> it. And he was like, you know, I'm sorry if I haven't been clear. If, I'm sorry if I led you if on. If I led you on. In the wrong way. But I'm trying to repair things with my wife right now. So it will be fitting of you that you shall leave before I get ejected out of my home again. <laughs> And she wasn't having it. You know, but she really did give Bishop a piece of her mind. In the real world, I would have been like, you go, girl. But that ain't really what's happening right here. Um, he finally got her to go ahead and go. But it's starting to look like everybody else is starting to notice that Bishop is over there with this young girl uh -huh. for a good amount of time. And First Lady is eyeballing it the whole time, looking like, make one move. So you, got, so you need to hurry this up and move. get her on out of here. So she went ahead and she went on the left. Bishop goes over there to talk to First Lady and say, you know what, I took care of it. She's gone. First Lady said, mm, but it looks like you, your dealings and your business is really with her. So, like I said, James. It's, it's over. It's over. It's still over. I said what I said. God done, Bishop, all of your hard work and went down the drain. So over here, still at the gala. His might be out of order, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, Mr. Cabot showed up because he hasn't been able to get in touch with Charity. Charity not answering the phone. She doing her own thing. Okay. He showed up. Him and Aaron. And he get ready to make a good little scene. Where is Charity? This, that, and the third. So Gigi got him. She pulled him to the side. Gigi called Charity. Charity answered the phone. Well, Charity is at this. It looks like a a rooftop hotel yeah and she's up there drinking her a few cocktails getting her thoughts together she don't want to talk to kevin and kevin was like listen you need to bring my son back point blank period bring my son back kevin has already been talking about i'm gonna call, call the police. police aaron was like, like man you don't want to do that he, he said i done seen where this go bro i said see. it don't want it don't went too well i said aaron i ain't trying to be funny aaron First of all, you was messing with the man when he was still trying to, in the house. Yeah, trying to, trying to mend him. So mend him you like, already got a strike against you. But uh, Aaron, if he would call the cops on his wife, ex-wife, baby mama, what you think he'll do to you? Yeah, the moment you don't. The moment you don't do it, he wants you to do it. Yeah. He'll call the cops over you too. See, the problem I had was when Kevin come all up in the house, all disrespectful, with his chest all poked out. Who they remind somebody you else's house. Who they remind you of? Dollar. Okay. Y'all know what's funny? I'm about to go on a rabbit hole, in a rabbit hole right now. Or get on my soapbox like James said. Boom, boom, boom. Um, everybody was in their feelings about what we had to say about Dollar, but we said the exact same thing about Kevin, and ain't nobody said skip. Yeah. What we said about Kevin is the exact same thing we said about Dollar. It's the same thing. And the part that really had pissed me off was when he walked up and looked in Bishop's face and frowned and walked out his face. Bishop should have punched him dead between his feet and eyes. He better be lucky that Bishop was trying to get the first lady back. See, he ain't had time for that right there. But I guarantee he ain't going to forget. He going to go looking for Kevin. And I'm with him on that. You know he's back at you. Uh -huh. I go look for him. So you going to come and look at my face in the house and, and, psh, and, and storm out and look me down like I'm short? <laughs> I would have pulled it right by his goddamn collar. Yeah. Bring your goddaughter tail. Bring your peanut head so right I know that you and my daughter ain't ain't got it right, but you in my house playing. You can show me you can put some respect on my name. And these and good goddamn <laughs> decorations. Exactly. And it's good. I ain't really seen no food. So before Coochie Cross was able to exit, she got a hold of the Mega Million Dollar winner. Mega Ball winner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she said, because in conversation, the lady has um Let's go back. Deaconess has said, oh, was that Kevin that I saw? I was trying to get to him because I wanted to ask him why he ain't been to church. You know why he ain't been to church. So Gigi said, oh, so we inclusive now. You know why the man hasn't been to church. Yeah. 
Um, so you want him to basically not be himself when he comes. Da -da. She was like, we've never said that no one can not be themselves. She said, you don't say it, but you demand it. Yeah. So don't act like it's not a thing. Exactly. So she said, but if you would like to join my coalition, you know, for um, acceptance of everyone to come to a house of God, then why don't you join me on that? Deaconess was like, uh, they just grow out of it. You know, uh, you know. I believe system is just a little different, so whatever. Okay. <clears throat> God doing Coochie Cross got a hold of that, of that winner and said, you know what? I heard you say that you couldn't donate to the coalition um, that Gigi had going on because you were tied up with something with Calvary. Do you mind if I ask you what that's all about? And she was like, being that you are in the round table, I do mind if you ask me that. Um, no, that's basically my business. That's what the lady said. It's, it's so personal. It's, Something it's personal between me, Bishop, and, and the first lady. She should not have even told her that piece right there. She really shouldn't. Yeah. So here go Coochie Cross. Planted the seed. Yep. And it grew. She said, you know what? If I were your money manager, I would really look into everything and make sure that everything is vetted. And basically, that you would cut off the leeches. And make sure that your money is secure and you ain't doing all this frivolous giving away your money. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. And you end up with no money and everybody else is straight. So the lady kind of looked like, hmm, that's a good out. guy doing idea. Before the lady was able to leave, she was feeling herself. She had a little bit too much bubbly, she said. Yeah, uh huh. She mm -hmm. told first lady, she said, you know what? Before I write that check, we need to have a meeting with my money manager. And we need to sit down and make sure that this is the best idea for me to do. I said, oh, mm -hmm. skit, y'all ain't getting the first money. Lady, see, first lady, boy, look at her face like, oh, I thought we had fixed this. Then later on, oh, we saw Gigi in her office. And here's the write-up about Bishop and his tax problems. And here come the deaconess. Listen here, Grace Greenleaf. We may not see eye to eye, and our, our belief system may be a little different. But... Calvary is Greenleaf. And if anything were to happen with your parents, because they've been going through some skit for a while. I've been peeping it out. Mm -hmm. If they were to happen to not make it through all of the, what they're going through, are you prepared to take over Calvary? She was like, I said, Jesus ain't ready to take over no Calvary. Then it burned down. <laughs> God don't. But see, she think about it, see, with that ministry, what I realized, see, you can do whatever you want as long as you're not public information. But that's most of them. Yeah. So now, <laughs> you know, if, as long as that wasn't public information, everything was just fine. But now it's on the news and on the internet. Now, all of a sudden, the bishop ain't good enough to run the church. To make all y'all look bad. But then it's sad, though, how people throw away that preachers. Throw you away quick. Yeah, you forget about he canceled you. He was there when your son died, your mama died, your grandma died. Uh -huh. He put his family on the back burner. His marriage was messed up. His relationship with his kids was messed up, but he was making sure you was good. And the moment he do something that you don't like, vote him out. When he fell from the Get same rid place of him. that you fell from. Yeah. And you don't realize that y'all both are the same people. Mm -hmm. There's no difference than the person sitting in the pew and the man up there preaching the gospel. Show it. They both the same. Now, no excuses given. Yeah, but, but they both the same. same. We all the same. We all trying to make it in. Oh, all, all, all of us trying to make it in. By his grace and his like, what? <laughs> it is mercy. We want that with that good getting up moment. <laughs> <laughs> when, when what? When G? G. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> so, Ooh. while they were at the house, Jacob had told his mama, said, listen, Zoe going through some skit. My wife wanted to send her to Oregon to this, um, to this boot camp to get her life right, but I ain't really feeling it. I uh, yeah. lady said, oh, no, 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 no. Bring her to me. Yeah, I can be the boot camp. I said she gonna beat the brakes off of so <laughs> yeah, how y'all how many y'all on here know that you ain't gonna disrespect grandma mm -mm. cause grandma will give you another type of a whooping that well, my mom said that Ajax can't even take off I know y'all got, got that threat before no, I give you a whooping one. that Ajax that's from the country right you mean you from the country you never I ain't never like that to no, you no we just got cussed out I'm gonna beat your mother bucket and see the thing about it you ain't about to back talk to grandma Oh no. Nah. Oh no. Now grandma will protect you from your parents, 
but grandma won't protect you from you. You start flapping this. I was the opposite. My granddaddy would protect me from everybody. My grandma. You know what you said? Yeah, you know <laughs> your granddaddy, not your grandma. <laughs> grandma ain't gonna fold. Uh 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 uh. My nah. granddaddy said she don't know what she doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they said cause she acts just like you, James. My granddaddy <laughs> was James too. <laughs> cause she acts just like you. Yep. So over at the house, Sophia had you know went off with her little boyfriend. They started filling up on each other, but he wanted to go all the way. I said, ain't y'all in the past in the Bishop driveway? Okay, but mm -hmm. anyway, but she stopped them. They didn't go forward with it. So she went back upstairs. Zora was upstairs on Sophia's laptop. So she looked at it. She was like, who is cash money something, something, something? Oh, there ain't nobody. That's you Calvin. Know, you know Calvin. You know Calvin over here. Yeah, you know Calvin. But we all know it was Isaiah. And um, Sophia was like, why are you still messing around with him? He puts his hands on you. He does this. He does that. So here goes Zora. I'm just about sick and tired of you. We used to have fun. Now, all you want to do is talk about Jesus, the Lord. The Bible this, the Bible, the Bible that. Like you're trying to me. convince everybody. <laughs> and I don't even think you believe it. So here comes Sophia. You were okay, too. You were fun to hang out with, too, and stay, until you started messing around with the trash. And she was like, the trash? The trash? Oh, so Jesus little B is around here uh -huh. calling people did. trash. <laughs> Sophia said, what you want to do? Knock if you want. Knock if come, come through. Get in my face if you want to. We can square up right here, right now. Go on, slap me. He taught you what? Go on, slap me. <laughs> Sophia said, come on. Come on. Come on. All I saw was this. <laughs> and then here come Clarissa. Like, what the hell is going on in here? I don't know what's going on with Zora, man. I, I don't know she what. She don't got some dang. Isaiah got her just like. Just man, I, and I think this solidified it for Clarissa that listen, something needs to be done. Something needs to be done, and maybe sending her to Grandma's house is the best option right now. If that don't work, maybe you can take her over there. But yeah, she it gotta like, be an escalation process. Yeah. You can't you can't go from zero to one hundred in discipline, man. So Clarissa went on the laptop, and she was like, "So you, what's this plan that you plan on leave when you get eighteen? You ain't going nowhere." I was I said, like, no, no, "What?" That's what you want. Let her go. 18? Uh, let her go. Say when you get the problems and, and you know when it all hits. 18. Say when the skit hits the fan, don't call me or Jacob. Mm -mm. I ain't come get you. You grown. I'll see you some money through Cash App maybe. Get you a hotel for the night. I will not even do that. <laughs> yes, we do because we don't tell it a few times. <laughs> And they ain't even our kids. So we talk a whole lot of bullshit. But we do it. Yeah. We do it. But I ain't been doing it lately. I'll tell you that. Yeah. So, so keep my money. So I said, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. But Zora, and Zora was talking back to her mama. Yeah. And one time I thought Clarissa was going to knock her out too. She said, she needed what to. you're not going to do is put your hand in my face. This year, I was talking about a lot of so fit. I was like, I didn't steal the money at the church. You did steal the money. I mean evidence. Yeah. You ain't getting no allowance. You ain't got no, no. Yeah. You ain't got no job. So at the end, Isaiah of the road, ain't giving the money because he took you to a Roach Motel. Hello. So he ain't got no money. Can you see them two try try to run away to go? He's trying the to train wreck right now. He tried not to sweat out his perm. So we saw right after that we saw some <laughs> some luggage being being rolled. Uh huh. And um, Zoe got dropped off over there at her grandma's house. Mm -hmm. And she even was trying to be nasty when her parents left. And uh, first lady was like, uh, duh, 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 duh. Uh -huh. come back here and give your parents a proper send-off. She came back. And she did like, give it on one of them fake hugs. She gave her that look like when your mom and daddy leave, mm -hmm. I'm whooping your head. That door that you <laughs> shut like, that little door you shut like this, I'm going to come in there. <laughs> Now what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Try me. Try me. You might try Jesus, but you won't try me. <laughs> uh -huh. That's what Grandma said too. So at the end of the episode, we see Charity and she up there singing. <laughs> she drunk as a skull. Uh huh. Got this white lady playing. I will survive. I will survive. That oh, white lady was playing that joker too, boy. And, <laughs> and Charity was singing and singing her little heart out. She crying, doing what she doing. And the lady was like, oh my God, you sang so well. And then the cops come behind her talking about some charity green lip. She said, I knew, knew you were famous. 
I say, are you gonna survive, Charity? Huh? Say that got them Kevin or call it. Kevin wrong you. for that. He is dirt he, wrong for that. Kevin, what you not gonna do, like I said last week, you not gonna take the time off that you needed to get your thoughts together and to do your own thing, figure out who you were, and now come back in the picture and you start making God darn demands. And, you gotta ease your way into this. Yeah, and the thing about it, you you getting the law involved, all she gotta do is tell him that when the baby was born, you disappeared. You disappeared. So that makes you uh, negligible, unreliable. You have to prove yourself. So that ain't gonna work. That alone right there, that abandonment right there ain't gonna, ain't gonna help you right there, player. I said, I said, all right, dollar 2.0. Don't, don't, uh -huh. don't come back making no goddamn. No. At least dollar didn't call the cops. Her mama called her the Her mama cops. called the cops. But yeah. I'm like, no, no, this is not what we doing here. And I ain't for people keeping people away from their children. But at the same time, we got, we got baby steps that we have to we have to do here. Yeah. And now you going and on, on you going on, and on the flip side too, the relationship that he gonna have with his daddy, uh, Charity can't use the fact that he will from Aaron to keep him away either. No. You can't use that. But either. at the same time, it's too goddamn soon to be having your child around this dude. I know that he's a friend of the family. And he's, but this is an awkward situation for Charity to be in. Mm -hmm. The guy that's been around that family all their lives is now with my husband. But she was with Jabbar and the baby was around him. So it's still the same thing. That's true too. It's the you same point. God doing thing. So they're going to need to find that. Like, just like we told Ralph Angel Dollar, y'all need to work that shit out. Uh, work it out. The baby side eyed them too. Uh -huh. The baby was like. Yep. Work it out. Straight from the V head. The dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two, two down. Holla. Yeah.